root mean square speed of O2 gaseous at 127 degree Celsius temperature is? The options are 17.68 meter per second, 400 meter per second, 558.37 meter per second and the last is 658.37 meter per second. Students, there is a formula to calculate root mean square speed and that is URMS is equals to under root of 3RT upon M. So, let's put the value. 3 multiply by the value of R is 8.314 into the value of temperature is given in degree Celsius. We have to convert it into Kelvin which gives a value of 400 upon mass. The mass of O2, we are already given O2 is 32 but we have to take the mass in kilograms so it becomes 10 to the power minus 3 kilograms which gives a total of 558.37 meter per second. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question which is 67. Dipole, induced dipole interactions are present in which of the following pairs? The options are Cl2 and H2, the next is HF and HCl, the next is NH3 and HE and the last is CCl4 and SiCl4. So students, we have to identify the type of interaction present in the given molecules. Starting with the first option which is Cl2 and H2. Students, as we can see that Cl2 and H2 both are non-polar molecules. As a result, there exists induced dipole, induced dipole interaction. Induced dipole, induced dipole interaction. Moving to the next option which is HF and HCl. It is very clear that both the molecules that is HF and HCl are polar molecules. That means the type of interaction present in the given molecules are dipole-dipole interaction. Moving to next option which is NH3 and HE. Students, we can see that NH3 is a polar molecule. On the other hand, HE is non-polar. So, it is very clear that in this case, there exists dipole and induced dipole interaction. Moving to last option, which is CCl4 and SiCl4. In this case, both the molecules are non-polar. As a result, we can say that in this case, there exists induced dipole, induced dipole interaction. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 3. That means NH3 and helium have dipole, induced dipole interaction. Moving to next question which is 68. Density of N2O gaseous at 427 degrees Celsius and 5 atm pressure is? The options are 5.2 gram per liter, next is 3.8 gram per liter and the next option is 4.6 gram per liter and the last is 1.2 gram per liter. So students for this question I am writing the formula to calculate density which is equals to density is equals to pm upon rt where p is pressure m is molar mass r is gas constant and t is temperature let's put the values of the given terms the value of p is 5 atm is already given the value of molar mass we have to calculate for n2o the molar mass is 44 grams so this is 44 gram per mole the value of R is 0.0821 liter ATM per Kelvin per mole. And then we have to take the value of temperature. The value of temperature is given in degree Celsius. We have to convert this into Kelvin. And in Kelvin the value becomes 700. So the overall value of density is 3.8 gram 
per liter. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Moving to next question which is 69. A mixture of helium and neon occupies 10 liter volume at 27 degrees Celsius and 1 atm pressure. Total moles of gases present in the mixture is the options are 0 0.2, 1.2, 0 0.8, or 0 0.4. Students for this mixture will be using ideal gas equation which is PV is equals to NRT. Since we have to calculate number of moles and the rest values pressure, temperature, volume are already given. So let's put the values in the given equation. Pressure is equals to 1 atm. Volume is equals to 10 liter. Number of moles we have to calculate. The value of R is 0 0.0821 liter atm per kelvin per mole the value of temperature is given in degree celsius which is equals to 300 kelvin let's calculate number of moles which is equals to 10 atm liter upon 0 0.0821 liter atm per kelvin per mole into 300 Kelvin, which is equals to 0 0.406 moles. So that means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to next question which is 70. Equal masses of O2 and Krypton have their total translational kinetic energies E and 4E respectively. Ratio of temperature of gases O2 and Krypton is where the molar mass of krypton is already given which is 84 gram per mole and the options are 2 is to 7, 2 is to 27, 2 is to 21 or 5 is to 27. Students as we all know the formula of total translational kinetic energy which is given by 3 upon 2 nRT and we are given with O2 and krypton. So the formula becomes 3 upon 2 N1 R T1 upon 3 upon 2 N2 R T2. Since we are given with the values of energies which is E and 4E respectively. E for oxygen and 4E for krypton. So let's put the values. E upon 4E is equals to N1 T1 upon N2 T2. Students, as we can see that we are given with equal masses. So let mass of O2 and Krypton be X. Let's put the value. E upon 4E is equals to X upon 32. Since the molar mass of O2 is 32, T1 on X upon 84. Since the molar mass of Krypton is 84, already given in the question, T2. So students, we can easily find T1 upon T2 is equals to 32 upon 4 into 84, which is equals to 2 upon 21. So students, it is very clear that T1 ratio T2 is equals to 2 is to 21. So the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to next question, 